Good morning, universe, and welcome to Manual Converting the Yamato. We've got quite a lot of work for us today. We're hoping to get the engine out. Last episode, I gave you a brief introduction to the conversion, along with notes on why certain items or methods will be used over others, and finally ending with the removal of the front bumper and bumper support. The goal for this episode is to prepare the engine for removal, which definitely took longer and a lot more effort than I had originally thought. After scouring the internet for some info on manual swapping, I managed to sort this list for removing both the engine and the gearbox. Although the main task is to do the manual transmission swap, I also want to inspect and give the engine a much needed servicing, along with replacing some seals that have long since failed. No more leaky Toyotas in this household! So we're just having a look online and one of the first things we need to do is drain the coolant. Um, now apparently draining the coolant Wrong. is through the hard lines and it's just under this panel. So we're going to remove this panel and there should be two bolts that um, just look like they're doing nothing and that's the ones that we drain the coolant from and then we'll move to the front and then we'll do the engine, figure out what's wrong with the engine. Yeah! Hey, hey, hey! Corollas are shit MR2s! I still don't know what I'm looking at. So, after what feels like an eternity, trying to figure out where the drain plug is for the back, I have consulted the interwebs and they've basically said just do the front corner and when you pull the motor out just deal with all the fluid dropping out of here. So that's what we're going to do. We're not even going to bother trying to find the drain plug for the engine. I'm sure we'll see it once it's out. So this wing nut here is the nut for the water. And apparently it just gushes up. Oh. Okay. Yep. That's a, That's a fair amount. It's all green though, and it looks really clean, which is good. Oh, look, <laughs> it looks like toxic waste. Hello, yes, I would like some lube. <clears throat> These are really tight. Oh. <sighs> don't know anything about cars. Oh, this is really rusty. Oh, that is loose. I think it's just a bracket. There's like a, a slippy slider thing. So this here next to the block and it's just a bend that this sleeve slid over the top of. So I've just slid it and loosened it out. Oh, sorry. Loosened it and slid it out. So now I just got to do Yay! Alright, so <laughs> Here we go, that's out. Now we are gonna... Oh. One exhausty boy. Ow. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna have to pull one side in. I need support, you know. <laughs> Get in my eye. Alright, so with the coolant drained, we've now got to just get rid of all the oil in the system. So I believe this is the gearbox sump. I don't know, would you call it a gearbox sump? And then the engine one is. I don't know if you can see, but there. So we'll start with the gearbox just because it's easier. Um, it just requires a 14 mil, so let's get on to that. tip when you're weak like me <laughs> shut up shut up your mum's fat once all the fluid is drained it's time to tackle the top side firstly i'm attempting to remove the intercooler for the supercharger while trying not to damage my paint you will see me dropping and breaking a lot of stuff throughout this series i really have no clue what i'm doing once the intercooler and battery are removed, it's time to take out the coolant overflow, intake, throttle body, distributor and coils. I like how, with the semi-clean dirty job, I was wearing gloves. And with the actually dirty job, you're just giving up. I just forgot to put my gloves on. <clears throat> Do you want to wash your hands and put your gloves on? 
I'm gonna wash my hands and put my gloves on. Yeah. Throttle body was an absolute sh** of a job. Three vacuum pipes nestled away. Oh, there's another hose! Ah! Oh. access to them There's another hose! In hindsight, I probably should have labelled each one went and what they did, but I didn't. So learn from my mistakes, people. Yeah. Well, like Beat you! You know what I never understood? Many things. Is the fad of blue pipes everywhere. Oh yeah, that's horrendous. Who would have thought that this was cool? Next up was to remove all of the coolant piping and everything else for that matter that I could see. This was made pretty easy thanks to the disgusting blue silicone piping. Despite my detest for them, it is good to know that the coolant lines were replaced in the past as these are a pretty common failure point for ADUBs. Just... I've lost the show. You can another gearbox. Probably easy to get money. I think those may be other gearbox clips. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think you've got to connect to the speedo cable. I don't know where the speedo cable is. I don't know where the reverse cable is. I just, I'm just unplugging things. I don't even have to adapt things. Cool. It's up. Hey. Before you get out, let's check the thing out the Speed cable, engine bay harness, shift cables. Auto though, don't know that's different. What does the shifting? Uh, Ow! Did I get it? Hey, I got it. Oh, <laughs> oh it's pissing fuel everywhere. Yeah, We're gonna sit on fire. Yeah. Oh no. Dumbledore. 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 Ron. Ron. Ron Weasley. Ron. Ron. Ron Weasley. Hermione. 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 Fuel lines are. Potter Puppet's Palace. Fuel lines are fueled. Unfueled, really. Unfueled. Yeah, that one. They deleted. Cool. What was the other thing? We'll deal with that later. <laughs> uh, I need the tool as well. The oh, the Not the ugga dugga, the manual one. <laughs> we made that ugga The <laughs> Shit. Is that aircon? It's hissing. That's aircon. Never mind. Although I'm probably not even halfway through removing the engine, I think some pretty decent progress was made. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time where the engine will definitely for sure get dropped. Probably. <laughs>